Fiche, written by Frankie Dottori. Two, Grey Shot, John Reed. Three, Cannon Can, Tony McGlone. Four, Corradini, Kieran Fallon. Five is Double Eclipse, written by Jason Weaver. Six, Double Trigger, Michael Roberts. Seven is Election Day, Visored, written by Olivier Pellier. Eight, Persian Punch, Ray Cochran. Nine, Sam Rahn, written by Pat Edery. And ten is State Fair, written by Tim Sprague. Is a short price favourite. Frankie Dettori fans up and down the country supporting their hero. Opened at 11 to 8, went 5 to 4, and now as low as 11 to 10. And in face of that support, Persian punches out to 7 to 1 from 6. Sam Rahn is 7 to 1 steady. Election day is 9 from 8, together with double eclipse. 10 to 1 Corradini. One paddock judge came round about that each way. They said the horse looked absolutely magnificent. 16 last year's when a grey shot. 20 double trigger. 33 cannon can, and 50 to 1 state fair. And they're away. And a fairly conservative pace in the early stages, though Double Trigger being chased up to take the lead with his white face. Double Trigger are going on from Grey Shot. Just tucked in behind them, Election Day. A little bit wide of the others is a Persian Punch. Double Trigger the leader from Grey Shot. Then Cannon Cannon, Election Day. And Persian Punch on the near side. Just in behind them, Double Eclipse. Double trigger, making it from Grey Shot and Election Day and Cannon Can and Double Eclipse. Behind Double Eclipse is Persian Punch and then comes Classic Cliché. They'll be swinging right-handed shortly and they're going quite a good clip now. Double trigger the leader from Grey Shot in second, Election Day third. Then comes Cannon Can on the inside. Here's Persian Punch on his outer double eclipse. And then tucked in behind them is Classic Cliché. But still making it Michael Roberts on double trigger from Grey Shot. Election Day just uh, stumbled a little bit there but didn't lose very much impetus. He's fourth behind uh, Cannon Can, who's moving up on the inside of Grey Shot. Persian Punch getting closer, then comes Double Eclipse, and then Sam Rahn, and still Double Trigger. The winner in 1995, making it from Grey Shot, the winner in 96, with Cannon Can close on the inside, then Persian Punch, and then Election Day. Behind them, Double Eclipse, and then comes classic cliché. They're beginning to breast the rise of the hill now. They've got uh, just about uh, six furlongs to run in the Cross and Goodwood Cup, and it's still double trigger the leader from Grey Shot, traveling well on the outside of Cannon Can. Just in behind them, Election Day and Persian Punch. The favorite classic cliche is still last as they run down towards the elbow. And as they do so, it's still double trigger from Grey Shot, Cannon Can, Persian Punch, Election Day, Double Eclipse making good ground. Classic cliche now making ground from the rear towards the right of the picture. And as they come down now past the three pole, it's double trigger the leader. Double trigger from Double Eclipse, his full brother. And here comes Classic Cliche under Frankie and Tory on the near side. It's double trigger from Classic Cliche and Double Eclipse as they come down past the two pole. And Classic Cliche has gone to the front now. It's Classic Cliche on the near side. Double Eclipse is fighting back. So is Double Trigger. Double Trigger's fighting back at the far side. Double Trigger's getting up and he's going to win it at the line. Double Trigger is the winner. Classic Cliche is second. Double Eclipse is third. Fourth was election day. And then came Persian Punch and Sam Rad and Cannon Can and Grey Shot and behind Grey Shot but State Fair. And last was Corradini. And so Double Trigger has won the Cross and Goodwood Cup for the second time in his career. And once again, he's beaten his full brother Double Clips, who was third. The result, first number six, Double Trigger.
owned by Mr. Ron Huggins, trained by Mark Johnson and written by Michael Roberts. Second was number one, Classic Cliché. Owned by Godolphin Racing, trained by Saeed Bin Sarur and written by Frankie de Tori. And third was number five, Double Eclipse, owned by the Midland Partnership, trained by Mark Johnson and written by Jason Weaver with fourth, number seven, Election Day. Double trigger to the rescue of bookmakers, the winner at 16 to 1. Second number one, classic cliche, the 5 to 4 favourite. Third number five, Double Eclipse at...